This is rose. Yes. Rose petal okay. jam is very popular formulation in Ayurveda because it is very cooling for uh, and good for digestion, good for heart. Gulkan. 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 Good for heart. For all heart patient, cardiac patient, blood pressure patient, insomnia and restless patient, Gulkan I use for cooling and soothing effects. And if you go uh, give rose to somebody, he feels very happy. I like the gulkan. Use it with milk. Yeah. I use rose petal milk. Rose petal. Good for cleaning. Good for cleaning the bowel also. Yeah. But the one they use is is some chini in it as well, or the normally the gulkan you make there's no. You can use sugar also. In it. If you want. No, no. Just said when you get in the market, gulkan is the sugar. Yeah. But it's not necessary. It is not necessary. Okay. Because it stays long, no? because like a... You can use it, it's a preparation with sugar. Yeah, because it stays well, long. Achha. Yeah. Achha, preparation with sugar. Oh, yes, yes. It's a jam. It's a jam, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's a jam. You cannot be without sugar. Cannot be without sugar. <laughs> this is a... Uh, uh, go to cola. This is go to cola, this is Brahmi together. So I have put... I'm growing them together so that you can differentiate. This, this in South... Uh, India, this is called Brahmi. In North India, this is called Brahmi. So this is Bakopa Muneri. Mine die all the time. I can't get it to grow. You should grow it near the source of water. Okay. It needs water all the time. Yes, I realize that now. Yeah, it cannot grow without water. Little bit, the the soil should be moist all, all the, the time. time. Yes. So that's why here is the water source. Here. Whenever somebody wants to water the plants, he will start from here and after that he will lose the wish to give the plant to all, all the garden but at least this will get the water. Good idea. <laughs> so that's why sometimes when I want to give water to all the plants, I start from here and if I get some work, I leave it in between and I go but this plant, <laughs> they get the water. So this is Brahmi and this is Manduk Parni. Manduk is frog. Parni is the the feet mm -hmm. of the frog. So the shape resembles the feet of the frog. It is very cooling in Centella Asiatica or go to Kola. It is popular in the USA as go to Kola. Go to Kola. Eh? Yeah, go to in Kola. Romania. In Romania also. Very popular. Very popular go to Kola. It is improving for the memory. For the memory, yeah. for uh, improving microcirculation in, in any brains. part of the body. Yeah. I'm using in varicose veins also. I'm yeah. using in uh, whenever there is uh, as anti-aging also because it improves the complexion and the circulation in the skin. In many uh, cosmetic products, yeah. this Centella Asiatica is oxygen. Centella Asiatica is very popular. It is cooling. Both the herbs. This is little bit warm, but it's not so warm. So this is for both the herbs can be used together for memory, for increasing the concentration, focus, for children. In children, I'm using for increasing their memories and concentration, preparing better. Are you using it for ADHD? Yes, very good for ADHD. For and how about dementia? Dementia, very good. All the Brain nervous stuff. tissue disorder. It's, it's dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinsonism, and uh, ADHD. Autism, even mm -hmm. autism I'm using. Mm -hmm. And uh, anything uh, like uh, mm. restlessness, depression, sleeplessness, fear. And mostly using the Brahmi. Anxiety, more, the panic. More than the Manduk for I'm for using Brahmi is stronger. It's stronger. Stronger than Manduk for me. Yes. The Koppa Munira is stronger than Centella Asiatica. Mm -hmm. So I'm mostly using Brahmi. Yeah. Okay. But go to Kola, I'm using in where I need to increase the microcirculation. And there is some stroke. Mm -hmm. And there is, the blood is not moving. Mm -hmm. And Vata So we could use it with early stroke. Early stroke. Yes. But I always use Brahmi along with you. Both together. Both together mm -hmm. because I need something stronger. Mm -hmm. so, and Brahm, that is more cooling. This Gotukula is more cooling mm -hmm. and uh, in stroke there is al already Vata problem. Yeah. So I need something which can pacify Vata also. Mm -hmm. 
All the Gotu Kola is uh, snake the Snake is with unctuous. I use the word oily. Oily, oily kind of thing. But still, Brahmi is, it goes well with Gotu Kola. This is his hibiscus. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. I, love this. Flower. Yeah. I like to use it with green greens. Mm. These are the native diaries. Yeah. yeah. I don't know it's cool. It's good to drink in the summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cooling, it's uh, good to drink in the summer and the the flower is actually used in dyes. Mm -hmm. In dyeing the color of the hair. In dyeing the hair. Oh, really? Yeah. For coloring, hair color. As hair color with the, with the henna, okay. you can mix with henna and you get nice color. Does this tree need a lot of water? Does it need a lot of sun? Because it needs a lot of sun. A lot of sun. Okay. Not too much water, but sun needs for sure. The viscous is cooling in nature, and now we go in that corner. I have some plants <laughs> over there also. This is a natural uh, insecticide or pesticide. Okay. This is. I have poured some natural pesticides mm -hmm. made from some plants. It is on the leaves, mixed with some some uh, soil. So you can just see. This is cinnamon. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. It's not nice great. Oh, nice. But it's the bark. The leaves are called peen patar. It's a peen Cinnamon. So you can make teas with them? You can make teas with the leaf? Yeah. Cinnamon is good for cholesterol, high cholesterol. The leaves we use in all the recipes of uh, rice mm -hmm. in India. Peen patar. And this is uh, good for cholesterol. The bark is used. And the bark is called, it is the same plant, in fact. The cinnamon and tej patar is the same plant. Tej patar is the leaves, and bark is the cinnamon. And cinnamon, 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 tamala is Latin name. So you can read about that cinnamon. This is heating. Good for kapha disorders, good for cholesterol deposits. Yes, chest. Yeah, good for the arthritis, chest. And use in herbal teas. So many herbal teas. Good for vata, vata and kapha. It is not so heating. As we tasted yesterday, yeah. it is having pungent taste, but little bit sweet after that. And then we have here, this is vasa, vasaka. Vasaka? Vasaka. Mm. For respiratory. For respiratory. Opening the dilator, huh? Ah, yeah, bronchodilator, opening up the, these srotas. And this Vasaka uh, is also cooling. It is also good for Rakta Pitta, for bleeding. Whenever there is bleeding, it can control the bleeding. This is its for uh, bhav or effect, special effect. So it is good for Rakta Pitta, I am using in ITP, I am using in colitis. Mm. Whenever there is too much bleeding, I am using Vasaka. Bromhexine is a chemical mm -hmm. which uh, modern pharmaceuticals they are taking for as mucolytic mm -hmm. from this plant. There is the mucus is there, it is to break down that thick mucus, they are using bromhexine. And bromhexine comes from this plant. That's why bromhexine is very popular medicine in all the cough syrups. Whenever you take a cough syrup from the market, you check the composition, there is bromhexine. So this contains, this is a source of bromhexine. So all natural plants, they have so much. And modern system scientists, they have studied little bit. So if we give this vasaka, it doesn't cause any side effect. Bromhexin itself causes some side effects. Natural form is better.
and this is a ferula narthex or hingul hingu hingu hing 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 asa fitida asa fitida but the root huh yeah but the root but the you can smell Sorry, sorry. Still quite pungent, even the smell. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's not. It says baby tree, not grown up yet, but it is. The root is very powerful. So today I'm having all. I'll be try those shik after all the leaves. All the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Asa fetida for. It has very culinary value in India. Too many recipes all over the world. It is good good for vata, for digestive system. Whenever the, the small babies they apply in India this ink ink powder on the belly of the small babies for colic and for intestinal colics, for gas, bloating, acidity, and uh, it is uh, although it is heating, but it is good for vata. All water conditions. So, hing is useful to to balance the vata of the food. In India, we put hing so that it doesn't cause gas and bloating. Here, this is big cardamom. This is small cardamom. This is cardamom. Elaichi. Elaichi. ये छोटी इलायची है ये बड़ी इलायची. अच्छा बड़ी है काली वाली. ये काली है. Big. काली इलायची. So black. Oh, okay. So it it is not growing here. The black cardamom. This is black khabib. This is black cardamom. This is green cardamom. Oh yeah. So it grows there in the down. <laughs> the near the, the box. The, the seed fruit. is down there. Fruit. The fruits are there, but now they are not there. They will come in the season. And it is usually it is growing in uh, South India near the. The rivers. The rivers. Yeah. So it needs a lot of water, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like Munnar has a lot of Munnar. cardamom. Yeah. The water should not stay there; it should keep flowing. I see in the slopes. In the slopes. In South America, also very much popular for flavors and for all the herbal teas. They have this cinnamon, cinnamon, cardamom, big cardamom, small cardamom. A beauty lawn can become, and this one is. I heard elateria. That is not a butylone. That is a elateria cardamom. A nice spice for pitta because now. Butylone is uh, that uh, atibala. Nice to for pitta when pitta has like manda agni because it's not heating. Yeah. It can help get the. These are spices. They are heating. Yes, but this one, the cardamom is. This is not so so strong. Most easy. gentle for gentle. pitta. Mm -hmm. green. Green. Some green. some people use black, cardamom black. the green in coffee to make it more alkaline. Yeah. Yeah, that is good. Heart flashes, heart flashes, irritability, cooling, irritability, depression. It took to make for me to use it for height. Mm. We'll both try and then report. Hello. <laughs> I want a foot. One more foot. <laughs> oh, this is calmate. It's very bitter. And what about this one over here? This one. This one is. This one is a uh, called Kas Mard, Cassia, Cassia Tora. Uh -huh. Where you saw very big Cassia fistula. Uh -huh. yes. This is Cassia Tora. Mm -hmm. This is Kas for Kas for Kaf. For Ka Kaf and so Kas Madhu would have. Yeah, yeah, Kas. Kas. Kas means. Kas means. No, Kas means. But uh, this Kas Mard is for Kaf and sinus and bronchitis and. Uh, Al Kafa, it is hot. Ushanvirya, Katu Ushan. What is this? These are the pods. So this is the the seeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the seeds. Achha achha. That's not where it is. Like like one French beans. This one's ready. Yeah. So more. This everybody knows aloe vera. Yeah. Which, yeah. which formula do you have? Yeah. That one too. I have no formula with Kasmal. No, we are coming up with the syrup. Yeah, Bronco. Uh, like, a like a cast model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's I there. It yeah. Now recently we launched this herbal syrup. This Bronco plant or Bronco plant. With honey. With honey and with honey. Yeah, with honey. Yeah. yeah. Aloe vera. Is it's in processing. <laughs> it will be. Everybody knows. 
एलोवेरा यस सर्टेन प्लांट्स विच आर दिट इज द प्रिंसिपल इन आयुर्वेदा समान वीर प्रत्यारब एंड विचित्र वीर प्रत्यारब दैट मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर यूजिंग कूलिंग हर्ब इट शुड बी कूलिंग वीयर बॉडी इफ यू आर यूजिंग हीटिंग हर्ब यू शुड बी हीटिंग बट दिस इज बिटर इन टेस्ट दिस इज नॉट स्वीट टेस्ट इज बिटर बट इट इज कूलिंग दिस इज कूलिंग एंड बिटर कैन बी कूलिंग दैट्स ओके बट बिटर इज ऑल्सो गिविंग एज वर्किंग एज रसायना Bitters are usually not rasayana. Yeah. This is bitter. This is not rasayana. This is a depleting. Yeah. But this that is nourishing. 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 That is nourishing. So that is vichitter. Vichitter means strange. Strange. <laughs> Out of the not following Only. the basic principles. So there are certain <coughs> herbs which are vichitter. Vichitter. They are they are having special properties. They are blessed with special effects. That is called prabhav. Prabhav, this side is that. Yeah. And sometimes even not with prabhav, they have some special, even more special. Even more special. Mm -hmm. Nothing can be. No. There is no explanation. Nobody knows. I was got a burn in a desert uh, yeah. from from coal, mm -hmm. and the person, the vidu, just came and opened this, put in my leg, and yeah, yeah. I never seen anything so good for burn, good burn. for blemishes. For blemishes, when you have blemishes, the ladies have blemishes mm -hmm. sometimes. You can apply. For uh, for skin, for moisturizing the skin. Yeah. I use it for the animals, for the for animal. cat, dog. Is it the liquid? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I use it for these things. As a daily mask moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Open it is like a gel. But uh, in ulcerative colitis, because the, sometimes the inside of the plant is okay, but the outside, the leaves, that is purgative. Yes. So whole leaf is very strong purgative. Yes. yes. So yes, the gel is uh, not so purgative; it is cleansing. Cleansing. Mari the in Ayurveda there is a verse: So Mari Bedni Shita Tikta Netreya Rasayni Mudra Brahmi Vallya Vat Vish Pranut. It is good for Vata. It is good for Vish. Vish means toxins, all kind of toxins. Like a poison. Yeah. It is Mudra. Mudra means sweet. Sweet. Uh, the the Vipak is sweet. And Vallya means giving the bal or strength. Tikta means bitter in taste. हमारी बेदनी बेदनी means purgative. Netra means good for eyes eyes. Okay. And Saini is and now in the Kumari sar that you yes Kumari sar is gel. Just a gel. They don't just use the skin. But no sometimes skin. they use skin as well. No, I I don't use it. I don't want too much purgation. In the United States, you often buy it with the skin. Usually people use with the with the leaf. Yeah. That is too much. And talk to known, forget it. So if some pregnant lady is there, she doesn't know she hears about aloe vera juice and she uses it. That's with the skin. Then it is with the skin. The states you can buy uh, inner leaf only. You should know whether with, with skin or without. It skin. says on the label. Yeah. And this is Acorus calamus. Yeah. Vacha. Vacha. Oh yeah. Channel opener. Channel opener. Manovas rotas. Manuvas rotas channel opener. Oh, this is good. Yes. And the dosage is very minute. It is very important to keep in mind the dosage of the root of this plant. Yes. There is a rhizome inside, just like ginger, and the dosage is just like less than one gram, just 250 milligram, 125 milligram. So one gram of powder of this vacha, in it is otherwise it can cause. Vomiting and it can cause diarrhea, so it is very strong. Key herb in the Saraswati. Saras Saraswata Saraswata rest Saraswat. Yeah, it's very pungent. It is very uh, strong, pungent properties. But really, it's in tension. It can open all channels. Really, it can open particularly good it for coma. It is good. In Ayurveda, it is mentioned to bring the patient out of coma. Really. Yes, it is so strong. Yes. If you give the nasya of this vacha mixed with some other herbs, it can bring the patient out of coma. Wow! So, you never see this? <laughs> yeah. I love to you see that. Never seen this? Not yet in my practice, yes. but uh, it is mentioned in Ayurveda. Ayurveda, so many miracles are mentioned. Yeah. Ayurveda, in fact, is a miracle medicine. 
now nobody is using that medicine in a, the way it should be used in a common way very rare people like you and me we are very few who are using ayurvedic medicines we, we, a lot of the ayurvedic doctors are still using allopathic and yeah not uh, even in india we study ayurvedic we do ayurvedic course after bms ayurvedic doctor they start using allopathic so very few are there who are using ayurveda in pure form so slowly slowly it is improving now people are using more ayurveda it's getting popular this sarpaganda it uh, has a it is a the root of this sarpaganda is root sarpaganda sarpaganda mm-hmm. for the relaxing and for the blood pressure yes if you use the sarpaganda root powder for about 15 20 days your blood pressure will be gone for at least one year it will not come back and then again you use for 15 20 days and again blood pressure will not be there so don't need to continue taking it no no it, it, it is no need to take regularly all the time all the time because it can but it's in your sleep formula too it is there in my sleep i put it coming yeah, coming in very little quantity not yes. in big quantity yes. so that everybody can take every day for one year right. two years. i had it in my sleep formula too can be used continuously in very small doses sarpaganda sarp sarp means snake snake can be used small sarp means snake ganda means smell 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 of a snake but it is not for the smell of it because the root of this this uh, plant they look like snake oh i see so that's why the name sarpaganda it doesn't smell like that there is another plant which smells like horse this one the root of this root the root of this plant smells like horse that is why it is called ashwagandha mm-hmm. ashwa Ashwag- <laughs> means horse so this is ashwagandha very good horse that is sarpaganda that is sarpaganda <laughs> Now we know Ganda. Ganda, 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 Ganda means smell. Gand. Gand. Gand means smell. Gand. Gand. Gand means smell in in Sanskrit. Sugand. Sugand is good smell. Is good. Su means good smell. Du means bad smell. So Durgand is bad. Su means Sugand. Ashwagand. So it's Ashu. Ashwa means horse. Ashu means. Yes. Sarp means snake. So sarpaganda ashwagandha good for tissue building good for uh, best the sayana the sayana means rejuvenating anti aging good for stress stamina for muscle building for sleep for vata disorders for pains sprains strains fibromyalgia the root the root powder for diab- diabetic uh, myopathy weakness due to diabetes all such conditions restlessness sleeplessness ashwagandha is very good in those cases blood pressure also sir what is it a s h w a ashwagandha ashwagandha so you and you should be there ashwagandha so there is uh, these are the fruit fruits red they become red now they are not ripe yet this is like a, this belongs to solanaceae family tomato family mm, this technically a nightshade <laughs> technically is a nightshade yeah, yeah. that's why too much can increase pitta and if pitta is very high yes, should be yes, careful so be careful i i am using my capsules one morning one evening so sometimes in very much debilitated condition i give two two usually one one is enough in itp i am giving ashwagandha and it is increasing the platelets yes very quickly mm. the extract of ashwagandha capsules two two even in children i i don't care about the vata pitta kapha when the disease is very complicated yes as i told you yesterday then you have to take care of the patient first the center and this the leaves of this uh, tree they are good for weight loss for reducing the weight the leaves are good. and uh, here we have this bhumi amla yeah. bhumi amla ki is phalanthus neruri you see this there is small small amla ki mm-hmm. 
type of fruits at the back of this bumi amla ki phalanthus niruri it is uh, very good for hepatitis b it is also cooling it is bitter bitter cooling and and uh, katu in vipak but it is uh, useful for all liver disorders whenever they for liver virus all kind of hepatitis a b c it can bring down the viral load mm -hmm. and in the laboratory you can see the viral load coming down so if you use this bumi amlaki and the whole plant can be used on <coughs> using the extract of this bumi amla So lanthus niruri is a very useful herb for liver failure also. All liver failure. All liver condition. And this is called a stone breaker in South America. <laughs> Because we talk about Colombia, uh -huh. I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Because there it is very popular. Uh -huh. In Colombia also in Brazil, they use it as a stone breaker. Even for in the liver yes. stone in the gallbladder. Gallbladder. Mm -hmm. Stones. 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 In Romania also. For stones. Yes. Gallbladder. Gallbladder stones. Mm -hmm. Yes, for gallbladder. Yes. The gallbladder stone you are using. I don't it. know <laughs> if it works, but. Uh, but it is popular there. It will be. Yeah. Uh, in South America, it is popular as chanca piedra. Chanca piedra. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is chanca piedra. Chanca. Yeah. Chanca piedra. Yeah. Chanca piedra. <laughs> chanca piedra. So this is chanca piedra. This is aloe vera, and. Uh, what else this is a arc arc is a calotrop cal calotropis procera it is poisonous but uh, it is very useful for diabetes we can use you can just uh, take a big leaf wrap it around your feet and sleep overnight and you check your sugar level dropping wow it's a sanskrit name arc A R K. It wow. is good to make basma, some basma for metals, heavy metals, processing of making them organic compounds of. Nami R K. The Nami R K. Nami R K. So is it good for um, diabetic ulcers? Can you uh, can you put it as a topical? No, it is irritant basically. Otherwise, okay. on the intact skin you can put. For diabetic ulcer, I, I'm using Nirgundi oil. Yes. Nirgundi is vitex. So I will show you Nirgundi plant outside. This is just small garden. I showed you. I have bigger garden outside. <laughs> Not much. Magnolia, <laughs> no? Yeah. No magnolia. This is temple tree. <laughs> This one is a clove. Clove. Oh. Cloves. This you will. You can see the fragrance. Very strong. Cloves yeah. for club oil, good for uh, the tooth, toothache. toothache, all of the teeth. We use in many uh, sometimes <laughs> toothpaste. So it is good for antibacterial, Whoa. antifungal. This is club. This is small one. It goes oh, bigger, yeah. like around twelve, twelve feet, ten, twelve. So there are cloves, small. Fruits can be chewed for cleaning the teeth, and uh, the oil can be used as a mouth freshener also. And a lot of the tooth powders have it in as powder. Yeah, it's one of the tooth powders. Main ingredients in tooth powder. Cloud. Cloud. And good as a digestive also. Good for digestion. Scapa. Heating is good for scapa problems. Good for vata problems. So this cloud is useful. So here we have turmeric. Turmeric. Which one? Hmm? This one. This is uh, curcuma longa. This is turmeric. Haldi, Hridra. So this is curcumin. The root curcumin is there are list of ailments. It is endless. Where it can be used. It is pungent, katu. It is heating. But it is good antibiotic, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, anti-histaminic, anti-cancer, antibiotic, natural antibiotic, pain relieving. So whenever you have pain anywhere in the body, pain, strain, injuries, this curcuma is useful in cancers, 
डायबिटीज एंटी डायबिटिक औषधा लौंगा ब्लड थिनर ब्लड थिनर कोलेस्ट्रॉल टॉन्सिलाइटस एनी एनी इन्फ्लामेशन ऑफ एनी पार्ट इन अल्जाइमर्स ब्रेन बट एक्सेस कैन इंक्रीज पिता टू मच एक्सेस कैन इंक्रीज पिता बट ओके प्रोटी मच ट्राई टू या प्रोटी मच ट्राई टू सी क्लियर बोरिंग है अनदर प्लांट दिस इज दिस इज गिविंग द पावर टू दिस पावर supply yeah. <laughs> we not taking the power we giving the power this is sharpunkha tephrosia purpura tephrosia sharpunkha what uh, in the indian stay in the forest is a um, uh, male and um, come come to me Come, come to join me, okay. and uh, he asked me from my master to call this. I read and know like everything, right? and uh, I, 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 I said yes. I told the master to tell him. This is the frosa. How can you recognize when you break the leaves? इन इसको शरपुंखा बोलते हैं जी जब इसको तोड़ते हैं ना तो इसके शर की तरह ऐसे शर बन जाते हैं शर शर इज लाइक लाइक एरो लाइक एन एरो सो इट बिकम्स लाइक एन एरो वेन एवर यू ब्रेक द लीव इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर लीवर एंड स्प्लीन स्प्लीनो मेगली इट इज एक्सीलेंट बिकॉज मास्टर इन कैंसर ऑफ लीवर इन कैंसर ऑफ स्प्लीन इन एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ स्प्लीन इन Any problem related to liver and spleen? So I'm using it yakrit play hamset to. Oh, it's in yakrit. Uh. So whenever you break the leaf, it will break up in a special manner. That is why it is called shar. Shar means like an arrow. Hmm. It becomes like this. You break it like this. See? Hmm. I'm saying to them, jealous of goats. <laughs> jealous of <laughs> goats. Goats. <laughs> They should be jealous of you. You are eating their food. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am eating their food today. <laughs> so this is sharpunka. Sharpunka. I should c- cover up everything quickly because I have so many more. I hope I am not taking too much. Are you okay? Are you enjoying? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. They have all day. Yeah, they... yeah. Then it's okay. I hope the lecture is not too long. <laughs> this is a uh, card Bringraj. Bringraj is Eclipta alba. Eclipta alba is very good for. Otherwise, it is popular for hair, for hair, hair problems like alopecia. Alopecia. So Bringraj oil is there. Bringraj so many formulations for prevention of hair loss and hair growth. But it is also very good for the liver disorders. So it is a uh, uh, bitter, in, bitter in taste and. Uh, detoxify the liver so i'm using liver to liver liver sources bring raj brahmi and amla and bring raj they are used together for hair loss their oils are made with the base of sesame so eclipta alba eclipta alba so you want to see some more oh yeah you do okay sure let's go and there is one more going here mm. this one is castor castor you know indigenous for me this is not you know so many plant castor oil yes castor oil we see this is uh, oh let's say castor oil castor yeah. Resinous and the oil is coming from the seed. Yes, yeah, see. Oil is coming from the seed. It is very best for uh, rheumatoid arthritis. The oil. Yeah. Little bit each yeah. night. Yeah. Give one teaspoon each night. Yeah. Okay. For rheumatoid, for all joint pains, oh, and for yeah, yeah. even for constipation, for sciatica, for yeah. all vata yeah. disorders. Yeah. The yeah. best yeah. oil for it's vata disorder is castor oil. Yeah. Yeah. One spoon every it's night. Bitter taste. Is excellent. Yeah. That's why I use that. And on how to cook it. It's lots yeah. of stuff. Take care of the constipation and the joint pain. One teaspoon. 
Done. Within within a few days. Two, three couple days. days. First day, three bowels days. moving. Three days, pain is gone. Yes. So Five, this six, is seven. very strong for pain, vata pain, for joint pains, gastro oil. If you yeah. fell down and if you have pain, or even if you don't fall down, if you have back pain, <laughs> and just take one big leaf, you can wrap it around like a belt, and next day you will see your pain is gone. And good for lumps and warts and yes, good for warts tumors externally. So it's good for pain, vata pain. Ba back pain mainly you can just put the, put the leaves or the oil on. Or the oil. They and use oil packs to dissolve tumors. Yeah. And uh, yes. now we go in the States. Yeah. Not this. Not this. Not this time. Uh, I think this is a freshly planted. This is freshly planted. I planted uh, this uh, two months ago. Mm -hmm. This is also called Am Amrita. Why it is called Amrita? Because uh, it is uh, like Amrit to our body. Amrit nectar. is nectar. And uh, it, it is very difficult to get rid of this plant because it has so much life in it. And they cut, I have planted this plant, they have cut the root several times. But it again grows. So this is very powerful and it uh, is tri -doshi. It has, a, it can balance three doshas. So in all, in, in gout, it, it is wonderful in gout. In cancers, in low platelets, in uh, all sort of liver cancers or pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, brain tumors. In all, in autoimmune conditions. Autoimmune conditions have happened. Hold some shoulder. I give you the castor leaf. That's what I need right here. <laughs> I need castor leaf right here. Castor leaf. We have Mirgundi there. We have uh, Harshingar there. We have three, four herbs which can immediately help. Yes. I, I think that uh, Dr. Gulati, I think if I remember, said it's his favorite herb. Chiloe is favorite herb of all the Vedyas. <laughs> It's a favorite. <laughs> favorite herb of all the Vedyas because Giloe is Amrita. Amrita is Amrita and Giloe can, there is no disease which, in which Giloe cannot help. Yes, to some degree. So you see it in a lot Every of formulas. Day. All the formulas they have Giloe. Even when you see a formula and you're not thinking Giloe, they still put a little in. All the autoimmune disorders in every, everywhere. In Vata condition, in Pitta condition, in Kapha condition. In all tumors, cancers, growth, because it is prostatitis, uh, prostatitis, any inflammation, yeah. so fevers, yeah. fevers of unknown origin, when you don't know why there is fever, you can give this juice of kiloy stem. The stem is use, used, the stem is useful, and we are using the stem. Is it better now? In our book, I have a pain, but in our book it's, it's called Guduchi. India. It is it's called Guduchi. In our my, book, it's, this, yeah. it's from my country. This pain Guduchi. sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's too late. So this is called Guduchi or Tinnospora cordifolia. And that, there is Giloe. You see, this growing in that tree mm -hmm. also. Oh yeah. yeah. That is a climbing. Climbing over there. It's a climber, huh? Climber. It is a climber. Pongemia, that is, the tree is Pongemia pinnata. Crunch, crunch. This, uh, when I planted these trees, these were like, they were like very small. When you planted? When I planted. How many years back? This is like maybe one year. Just one year? Just one year. Oh my god. When I planted this, how old is this tree? Can you imagine? Can you guess? Three? Ten. Just make a wild guess. How old is this tree? Five. 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 Five, three, ten. I overheard. One year. One year. Wow. <laughs> you overheard. Oh, that's fast. And you planted it only small? I planted it like five inches it was. Wow. And this one, this one went down. 
fell. Fell like it was like this, and it fell and it was broken. I tried to help it, and now in one year, this is moringa. Oh, moringa. Moringa only fell. Wow. Oh. This is moringa only fell. So much. So these two trees I planted one year ago, and they were like just small, very small, and within one year they are very big. In the corporation, they tried to build this six months ago, but they left these two trees because they were big enough. So they they survived. Been smaller, they would have. They would have cut them. So the moringa is full of. Everybody knows in in America and Europe what Protein is the use. So source of uh, so many proteins, natural, all the vitamins, vitamin B complex, vitamin C, vitamin A. Can remove really the Can remove the metals. So moringa is uh, uh, one of the very few trees which is uh, having so many properties. And moringa leaves tea can be. You can drink the tea. You can drink the juice, moringa. And in South India, there is a recipe called sambar. Mm -hmm. We use the sambar. It is good for vata. It is good for all vata disorders. Is it curry leaves? Mm -hmm. No, no, curry leaves are there. Laga hua. That is a separate plant. Acha. Curry patta. Ah, curry patta. This is moringa. Moringa oil is also very good for vata problems, just like castor oil. This is not purgative, but moringa oil is good for water conditions, lubricating, and uh, moringa is also called sahinj sahinjra, sahinjra, sahinjra ki phaliya hoti hai, uski sabji banake khate hain, humare country mein kahi jagah pe. This is full of nutrition, basically, full of drumstick. Drumstick, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very proteinous. Very proteinous. Yes. Now you know <laughs> what we are talking. <laughs> So, full of proteins, full of vitamins, full of nutrition, and good for every drumstick. Drumstick. This looks like a drumstick. Drumstick is, is because this plant is belongs to Cisalpinaceae family, Leguminaceae family, legumes. So this is called drumstick. No. No. Okay. The pods. The, the pods, pods are pods. like a drumstick. Oh. The okay. pods are like drumstick. They're almost like this long, like a drumstick. Okay. And like a, it has a little little seeds, right? And it's very, very popular. She's helping a sea family. Thank you. So. <laughs> if you cook it right, it's very tasty. Yeah, I love it. I love to cook it in the summer. And, uh, I have the sound of it. It don't go through it very fast. Use it for the cancer. All these, all these trees, I planted them with Moringa. Just same watch. time. Same time. Watch. Uh, uh. And moringa also using in cancer too. Right? Yeah, in cancer also moringa is useful. You can increase giving, giving nutrition. Yes, it increases pitta. So I mix it with amla. And this one uh, is Arjuna. Terminalia Arjuna. Arjuna. Arjuna is very popular for heart problems. Famous for. It's a function it's good for it's cholesterol to reduce the cholesterol. It doesn't increase the burden on the heart. It uh, takes away the burden from the heart and gives the strength to the cardiac muscle. Full of natural coenzyme Q10. There is enzyme which heart needs. And this is the only natural source. So much of CoQ10 that even one cup is enough for two days. Close it. One cup morning, evening, good for cholesterol. It's cooling. I'm using. It's also good for healing the wounds. So I'm using for ulcerative colitis also. It is good for to stop the bleeding also. So Arjuna is uh, Shitavirya, cooling in nature. Stringent. Stringent. And healing all tissue, really. And healing all tissue. And this is Arjuna. This is Arjuna. This is Arjuna. <coughs> this is Amalaki. Amla. Oh, no. Amla. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is Amla. Happy the Raja. This is uh, this is uh, Nirgundi. Nirgundi. Okay. 
Vitex. Sandra, this is Nirgundi. Vitex. This is good for all, all vata conditions. For pains, Nirgundi oil is useful for as antibiotic, as healing. And Nirgundi, the leaves of Nirgundi, we make decoction. In Panchkarma, we use it as a uh, for anti vata therapies. Nirgundi decoction to drink. Nirgundi capsule for pains, vata, joint pains, arthritis pains. All the vata conditions. So, for scratches on the back pain, for even for fractures, you can use. One of the best energy sets, huh? Yeah. Nirgundi. Vitex. Vitex Nirgundo. And uh, what else I should show you? There is another plant here. Uh, uh, jamun, you know jamun? Dabdi. Dabdi. Jamun. What should it stay for? Jamun. Jamun is a Trigigium cumini. Trigigium is a, also called Java apple. Black fruits. The seeds are good for dabdi. It becomes very big. Very big tree. And there are very sweet fruits and the seeds of those fruits, black uh, fruits, the seeds are crushed and made into powder and that powder is used as anti-diabetic powder. So that's Jigyam Pimini, you can do Jigyopa, 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 Jigyam Jigyopa, sometimes they call Jigyopa also someday. Jojoba. I think it's Jojoba. Jojoba? Jojoba. That is different, I think. Jojoba. There are so many Jojoba trees, but this is one of them. This is Java apple. This is Graviola. This is actually American tree. South American tree. This Graviola, it is also called Sour Sauce. Sour Sauce? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sour Sauce. We use the leaves for insomnia. For insomnia? Or they cancer. Just, just or cancer. Or cancer. Five leaves and make a tea for insomnia. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, source of in India nowadays it is getting popular. We had uh, Ram Phal, we have Sita Phal, we have Ram Phal, and now people are calling it Lakshman Phal. <laughs> so, it's called Lakshman Phal. But it is sort of in South America as having anti-cancer properties yes. of the fruit. I am using graviola capsules, extract of graviola. So it is very rare in India. I have it is growing in South India. I have planted it here. And uh, I think uh, it is uh, enough for today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Somebody ran over one of your. Yeah, somebody killed my plant. <laughs> <laughs> somebody ran over my bottle brush tree. That was ornamental. There is neem tree if somebody wants to see. Tree, yeah. Neem tree. This one. This is neem. There be no bugs on that, huh? No. no bugs, no This is no also care. bitter, good for all skin condition, for psoriasis, for eczema, for dermatitis. Very bitter. And uh, cooling, and blood, yes. blood cleanser. And there's five kinds of neem too, huh? Five kinds. Different, yeah. different maha neem is there. Mainly neem and maha neem are popular. So, the, the leaves are used, the bark is used. The fruits are used. good for diabetes. Good for mainly for skin condition we are using. So cooling, yeah. drying, it increases water, so not too much. But very good for particularly for pitta. Pitta rashes, burning, itching. For pitta, this is the best. For 
for especially Brajak with the psoriasis and whenever there is first acne. Yeah, in acne. In acne. Yes, acne. Yeah. 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 It's gone with the name. Uh, with Magista in me, Magista in the Queen, yes. and uh, other. With Magista, Nim, Kishor Guglu, Kishor Guglu, and Nim And now. So I hope this was useful and will be useful for you in future. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Uh, Dr. Wickham, uh, we got those certificates for you to sign up. Yeah, I had to get a group photo. Yeah. That's one of the big beliefs. Oh, yeah. It is very on shy. On the top, on the top. He is shy, you don't be shy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about everybody? You touch yeah. like this. Yeah, like yeah, running right across the leaves. Oh, okay, it moves. It moves. It's not shy for oh, the heart. Well, uh, I see. It's now. shy. That's why it's shy. <laughs> it is called touch me not plant. Okay. And it is uh, Mimosa pudica is the Latin name. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lajalu is in Sanskrit. It is very astringent in nature, yes. very cooling. And when for all kind of bleedings, I am using in ulcerative colitis. Whenever there is some some wounds, some non healing wound ulcers, and you need some some astringent to aggregate the platelets and help uh, uh, make a kind of uh, uh, soothing. soothing, soothing for the ulcers. Kind of like cottage? Kind of cottage, yes. Cottage is also. Did for Mix. ITP? I am saying for ITP also, it stops the bleeding, internal bleeding. I am saying for ulcerative colitis, mm -hmm. for any kind of ulcers, or it can be venous ulcers on the leg. So I am using the extract of this plant. I have a formula called Cool Stream B. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. cool. Let I me saw her. Is no, that yeah. from this? Yeah, well, they, I, I need to be writing this down. What, what's this called again? Cool Stream. This one? No, cool, no, this cool is stream. Megalu. So I'll just like. Lejalu. 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 What's the Lejalu. 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 Okay. L A double J. Double J, okay. I did G. Double J. Lejalu. And Latin is Mimosa. M I M O. Mimosa Pudica. It grows all over South Mimosidesi family is the name, family name. And uh, the, it is very astringent as I told you. Do you use the fruit or not? The flower? Use the whole plant. Okay. Yeah, Lejalu, -le L-E-J-J-A. Lejalu -le plant. I have, -le -le -le. Yeah, I'm J -J -A. using in the, that uh, cool stream B. Usually, yeah. more, many pharmacies, Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic pharmacies, yeah, nobody yeah, is yeah, using yeah, this plant. This is very precious and important I, I, plant in Ayurveda. Yeah. But very few Touching pharmacies that. are using it. So, I have used this extract of this Lajalu. Very cooling too, huh? Very cooling. That's why you have it in cool strain B. That's why I have put in cool strain B, which is even better at I think in cool strain A or B, I don't remember, but... I think it is in B. B is even more. Even more stringent. Yeah, I A. think it is there. And uh, stringent, cooling. Cool sheet area. And now the next plant, this one is a. Thomas? This is lemongrass. Oh, oh. I love lemongrass. Yes. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we drink every day in our town. You drink every day in your shop? And ashram, that's all they give us is lemongrass. Lemongrass tea. That's it. All good. Ooh. Yes, yes. yes. I like it. This grass. is very good. Oh, yeah. Because I think they have it growing there. This is lemongrass. This, the tea. Who mm -hmm. likes like lemongrass? I love lemongrass. Oh, wow. And lemon balm. You see, all the plants, they are very special. This is lemongrass. Yeah. Yeah. Smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, how is it? How is it? This is good for migraines, for headache. You can lemongrass oil is essential oil. It is made citronella. Citronella. Oh, no. I have both citronella and lemongrass at home. This is citronella symbol program. Mm. Citronella is the name, Latin name, and uh, this is very good for migraine, for headaches, for head, uh, pain. It's cooling in nature. It's cooling in nature. Mm -hmm. so we pop a little pungent? Pungent and kutu. 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 Yeah. So, And then we have here, this is ajwain. 
This is Ajwain. I used to have my home. <laughs> you smell it, you will like it. I can eat it as well. Mm. Ajwain. Mm. Mm. So this is a uh, Oh yeah. Hi Hyosimus Niger. Hyosimus Niger is a Latin name. When you say Hyosimus, you must have maybe you know there is a compound in allopathy medicine, Hyosine. Hyosine butyl bromide, buscopan. You are a nurse. Mm -hmm. You know when antispasmodic which injection is given? Is buscopan injection in all the hospitals. Mm -hmm. It is a, it contains hyoscine butyl bromide. So hyoscine is very strong uh, antispasmodic. So this uh, ajwain is from Ayurvedic point of view uh, anti vata. It is heating in nature. It is uh, having hot potency and katu the taste, pungent in taste. In Virya is pushed and Virya for hot impotency. And the path is also katu. And it is very good for pains, for abdominal pains. Whenever there is gas, bloating, somebody saying gas stone pain, somebody saying renal stone pain, somebody saying acidity pain, gas and bloating pain, somebody is crying in pain, especially the pain during menstruation, EMS and uterus pain, so all those kind of endometriosis pain and you can give decoction of uh, cumin, fennel mm -hmm. and okay. this ajwain. That's what I gave you. And do you use the leaves or the seeds? We use leaves as well as the seeds. Okay. Yeah. Mostly so seeds are used but leaves can also be used. Okay. So that is ajwain. And this is a black tulsi. Oh, wow. How is it black tulsi? It's a tulsi. Basic. So only basic. What is the black one and the normal one? Normal one is also there. I ha, have. What is the difference? Black. Well, this is blackish. Ha, what is the property of it? No, this is a little bit stronger. Khali? Labiati family. This plant belongs to a family, Labiati family. Usually the Labiati family plants are small. And. Uh, Mm. Oh, Osimum sorry, yes. basilicum is the Latin Polycom. name. Basilicum, you know, Basilicum. in churches, the mm -hmm. priest uses holy water mm -hmm. to get rid of all the evils, yes. demons. The whole basil. <laughs> to get rid of holy water is made from this holy basil. So, in Ayurveda, it is also known as Apet Rakshasi. Get rid of get rid Spirit. of all the spirits, spirits. and the evils. In Bhut Vidya. And Bhut Gani. Bhut Gani. It is also called Bhut Gani. To get rid of all the devils and those things which you cannot see. Mm. Mm. And uh, you can also correlate that the things which cannot be seen and which cause problems in our body. They are viruses and bacteria. You cannot see them. They are like devils and Bhut. <laughs> Germs. Micro microbes. So it kills all the microbes. So it is antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiseptic. So it can be the leaves are used, and or the stem, whole stem can be used. And uh, to see, I am using for any anybody suffering from uh, cough, cold, and rhinitis, chronic sinusitis, all the respiratory tract infections, even as anti-cancer. So for all cancer patients, I'm using different types of tulsi are there. There are four four types of tulsi. The puri tulsi is there. There is a ram tulsi. This is a, this is sham tulsi. This is sham. Sham is it is black black black. Sham. Sham is Krishna and black. Ram is uh, Rama. Sham is black. black. This is black tulsi. Black tulsi. And it, what's the difference between the black and the other tulsi as far as therapy? The, 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 this is another karpuri tulsi. Yeah, <laughs> so the white tulsi, I'll show you it's going somewhere here in my garden. This is karpuri tulsi. This is more pungent, more stronger than the sham tulsi. Sham so tulsi. There, there is difference in the properties grade wise. They get stronger and stronger. 
this is Kapuritu. Yeah, but general same. uses and property is same. Mm -hmm. Just general use and property is same. They are they are katu ushan heating That's good right. for kapha vata kapha disorders respiratory respiratory condition, condition and uh, vata kapha tumors because it is smell of kapoor as well kapoor. yes this is and the smell of kapoor also is even a formula using like all four tulsis together yes yes i see yes, yes like four tulsis can can be used and now there is a next plant this plant is if you want to taste it it is once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> it's king of bitters. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> you try, try, and after that you will never try. I'll try. I will try. <laughs> That's yeah. why I said once in a lifetime. <laughs> okay. After you that you will I'll, say, I'll, I'll no, I'm not going to try. Try complete. You will hold it. Yeah, yeah. Then only you will. You'll never forget. Mm. You'll not forget. This is called. Bitter. Bitter. Okay. Alright, I'll try. <laughs> mm, um, I'm gonna be brave. Wow. Be brave. Absolutely. Oh. You're absolutely right. It's a bunch of lifetime you're gonna try this. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna eat it again. Oh, I'm not for a game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried. I I tried. <laughs> so you don't want to try again. I already did it. I already did it, not again. Yes. Where is it? He's gone somewhere. Somewhere. I have something. What is this? I have something here. Robert. No. To the counter. I have yeah. the give some stevia after. Huh? Yeah, I have stevia growing here. Okay. So you can. Thank you. You can have That's bad. This one you can. This is sweet. Oh, in, oh, in, is in his in his book. <laughs> now you know what sweet is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because Kalmeg, uh, Indian. You didn't echinacea. try Kalmeg? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> in your in your product is called Indian echinacea. Indian Indian echinacea. Calmate. Calmate. Right. Yeah, so definitely. using it for immune to this, uh, and liver. This is called King of oh. Bitters. <laughs> it is King good for uh, all for cleansing the liver. Calmate. Endographis paniculata. For liver failure, liver process, and all the liver conditions. And also for the immunity. But yeah. the liver is failing. You, you give it straight, just by itself. Straight by itself. <laughs> when the um, liver is failing. And also uh, for fevers. All mm. kind of fevers and there is no cure. Everybody says this fever you cannot get rid of pyroxy it is called pyrexia of unknown origin. Mm -hmm. In modern world pyrexia yeah. of P U O. Mm -hmm. But all the P U O's they go away with this calm. Mm. Is it in Mahashundrashan? It is it is not Sudarshan in Mahasudarshan it is not there, but this is Kalmeg Asav is there, some other Kalmeg preparation. We have so many helps for fever. Or better and better for some one ailment. And if Mahashunushan doesn't work for fever, then call me. Yes. Straight. It will work for sure. Yes. <laughs> sure. Fever. A fever of cancer. Sometimes there are so many cancers that your fever cannot be down. This brings the fever down quickly. So this is called And hepatitis. And hepatitis A, B, C or whatever type. Hepatitis. All hepatitis. Liver failures. And this one is stevia, I told you. This is sweet. Very sweet. It's very sweet. Stevia, actually it was, it is from uh, South America. Mm -hmm. Colombia, Is Brazil. this a coconut plant? Which one? This one. <laughs> Which plant? What kind of plant is it? I will tell you. Coca? No coca. It is sarpaganda. Sarpaganda. That is sarpaganda. What is good? It looks like coca No, no. Oh, it is uh, the the roots. Uh, they look oh, like yeah. ah, that's why sarpaganda. Yeah. Sarpaganda. But uh, it is good for uh, good for blood pressure. Yeah. I'm coming to that plant slowly, slowly. This is a, another important plant. It is called asparagus. Mm -hmm. Asparagus racemosus, and it is called shatavari commonly in Ayurveda. Shatavari is uh, shitavirya cold. Cooling yeah. and tissue building. Tissue building. So it's good I for body building. Good for rasa. I have that one. And also for women. For women. For uh, rasa. Rasa. So building the rasa. And uh, madur sweet, sweet virya, sweet vipak, and uh, sheet virya, cooling. Good yeah. for ulcers also. Very good for ulcers because it is cooling and snigd. Snigd means unctuous. Very Sneha. like oily. Sneha. Snake means loving. Loving snake. Loving. Snake. Snake is loving. Snake means loving. 
Snigda. Snigda is loving. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know a Snigda. Yeah, Snigda is from Sne, from love. So, it is uh, Shatavari asparagus racemosus is the Latin name. And asparagus, uh, the root is useful. And root is full of nutrition, full of vitamins, full of proteins. And uh, when I, for height, increasing the height, you can use it for irregular menstruation, for ulcer, gastric ulcer, and for uh, ulcerative colitis also, for bleeding, for uh, irregular menstruation, for... Uh,